This video will help you understand the steps involved in moving the desktop central installation from one computer to the other. When you move the installation, there are two possible cases, one case where you are moving entirely to a new computer whose IP address and DNS names are different from the current setup. The second case is where you are upgrading the hardware of the current setup and there is no change in the IP address or the DNS name. Let us see each of these cases separately. Consider the first use case where the installation have to be moved to a different computer altogether. When you move the installation, you should perform these operations. First copy the installation to the new computer. Second, change the IP address and DNS name of the server in all the agents so that they will contact the new server subsequently. Additionally, if you are running the database separately, you should configure it to accept connections from the new IP address. Now, let us get on to the actual steps that you should perform. Firstly, connect to the desktop central client and ensure that you have enabled automatic update of server IP address. Select admin agent settings and select the automatically detect and save the IP address change option and save. The next step is to verify and note down where the patches and software applications are stored on the current setup. Select patch management. Downloaded patches to check where the downloaded patches are stored. Similarly, select Software Deployment, Software Repository to see where the software applications are stored. You should ensure that the same directory structure is available in the new setup and are accessible with read and write permissions. Now, stop the desktop central server from existing installation. You can use Select the Stop Desktop Central Server option from the Start menu. Create a zip file of the entire installation directory from the current installation. Copy this zip file to the new computer. Identify a drive to install the server and extract the zip file that you have copied from the existing installation. You should then register this installation and add it to the Windows services. For this, Open a command prompt and navigate to the bin directory. Execute migrate dc server batch file, which will take care of this. In addition to this, if you are running the database separately, you should execute a script from the computer where the database server is running. Open a command prompt and navigate to the desktop central server, MySQL directory. Execute the MYSQL privilege batch file with the IP address of the new installation as the argument. Now, you can start using the new installation. This completes the migration process where there is a change in IP address of the new installation. Then, start the desktop central server in both the installations. You can select the start desktop central option from the start menu to start the server. The next step is to update all the agents and distribution server with the new IP address of the desktop central server. Connect to the web console of the existing installation and provide the details of the new installation. Select admin, DC server migration link and provide the IP address, fully qualified domain name, flat name and ports details of the new installation and save. 
the desktop central agents residing in the client computers will automatically pick up the details of the new installation during their subsequent contact and start communicating with the new desktop central server. Once all the agent starts communicating with the new installation, you can stop and uninstall the old installation. Consider the second case where there is no change in IP address or the DNS name. This is relatively simple. All you have to do is to copy the installation and register the service. Firstly, Connect to the desktop central client and ensure that you have enabled automatic update of server IP address. Select admin management settings downloaded the automatically check the download the, download the, the IP address change option and save. Similarly, select software the next deployment step is to software verify and note down to see where the patches and software and software applications, applications are, stored. are stored on the current you setup. ensure that the same directory structure is available in the new setup and are accessible with read and write permissions. Create a zip file of the entire installation directory from the current installation. Now, stop the desktop central server from existing installation. You can use select the stop desktop central server option from the start menu. Copy this zip file to the new computer. Identify a drive to install the server and extract the zip file that you have copied from the existing installation. You should then register this installation and add it to the Windows services. For this, Open a command prompt and navigate to the bin directory. Execute migrate DC server batch file, which will take care of this. Now, start the desktop central server from new installation. You can select the start desktop central option from the start menu to start the server. To summarize, we have seen how to move the desktop central installation Once from one all computer the agent to the starts other communicating with the new installation, you can stop and uninstall the old installation.